I'm excited for today's video. It is a brand new year. This is gonna be the first beat I'm making of 2022. So happy new year to you guys. Hope you had a safe new year's. Today's the first day of the new year. This video will probably be out either tomorrow or the next day, but while I'm recording this, we got from start to finish of the whole year to get in as much work as we can, as much beats, placements, beat sales, anything you're trying to do with producing. Right now, you got a fresh year from the beginning all the way to the end. So let's get into it. Let's make the first beat of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and put the BPM up to like 150. Let's do 152. I have this piano open right here. The preset I'm using is the dark preset. And to be honest, I can't remember how to get back to the original window. Um, I low-key forgot, but anyways, all I did was adjust some of the color, the reverb, and then I chose this reverb setting for it. And uh, we got this piano, it's like a nice dark piano. So we're gonna go into piano roll and I'm gonna build out a chord progression. So right now I'm gonna kind of be quiet and just build it out. I'll probably end up talking because I always say I'm gonna be quiet and then I end up talking. Um, but let's choose a scale. We're gonna work in a minor and let's see, C minor right now. I don't remember what we created the last beat in. Let's just go ahead and start out in a B minor. I have no idea what type of beat I wanna make right now, but it's gonna be something emotional with piano. So let's go ahead and start. switch those two right there so this one is gonna go what is this G this one's gonna go like this and then something like that Now let's do some inversions. Let's drop all the root notes down one octave. And we'll probably end up bringing this up another octave. Let's bring down these. Let's bring this down. Bring this whole thing up maybe to C sharp. Alright, so I actually decided to switch over to Keyscape. I want it to be a little bit brighter and I moved a few notes around. Um, as far as this, I pitched this down because this was up like one octave here. I brought it down and then I actually changed this chord right here. So this is what it sounds like right now. So some nice chords, a little melody. I'm gonna go ahead and place a few notes on the top melody, like get a, get a little top melody going, is what I meant. And then uh, we'll go from there. I have a little like delayed feel to it like that. So in Arcade, I found the perfect vocal. It took me a while to find it, but it's gonna be this vocal right here, and it's gonna be two phrases that I'm gonna play, and they just fit so perfectly. So let's go ahead and turn this down. I'm gonna go ahead and press play, and then kind of show you like the vocal chops that I'm probably gonna end up using. Hey, 
does sound so clean. Let's go ahead and put this one right here. Let's see, we just need to line it up like here. processing on this. This is how it already sounds. It sounds really good. Yo, that's crazy. I'm gonna probably have to lay like a guitar on this or something, but let's go ahead and get started with the drums. It's clashing a little too much. Probably take out that second chord. There we go, perfect. Yep. That is clean. Beat of the year, it's going good. Oh, we just pan these real quick just to do it like that. Those high hats are super easy but super crazy. something from the one shot kit so if you haven't got the free one shot kit i did release a free one shot kit uh, you could download it completely free i'm gonna go ahead and put the classic bell six on here and then in here i'm gonna probably just add like for like a texture all right so for a pretty long time i was looking for like a saxophone bst and i was kind of creating I don't know, honestly, I was creating trash. Like I don't play saxophone, so it was better to go ahead and like get a sample for it. But then I thought maybe Arcade had something. So I went in there, typed in saxophone in the search, and I found this one right here that I'm using. And let me just say, when I add this note in, it sounds crazy. Watch, I'm gonna go ahead and just loop it from like here. I might add two notes, but I definitely have one for sure. So let's hear it. Just that one note sounds crazy. Maybe one more, I don't know. It's kind of cluttered with that second vocal. Maybe over here. Oh yeah, right there, there we go. That 
sounds crazy. That other one cuts off a little too soon. Perfect. And we got a little bit of EQ and reverb on it. Let the drums in.